thank you for joining me for another episode of Sam's Tech Stuff. Today we're going to take a look at this Sovereign external SAT hard drive enclosure. I've had to buy a couple of these recently just for a couple of builds I've done for family and friends and for one of the new laptops that I got for the channel while I'm out and about on it. But this is definitely one of my go-to drives. I buy these all the time and I always recommend them to people so I figured we'd take a look at one today. So there's not too much to these. Come in these small boxes. As you can see, I already opened mine to double check, but we will take this out. The only thing I don't like about these is sometimes it's hard to get the uh, packaging out. So what's included is the USB cable. You can see that the cable on both sides, so it doesn't really matter which one goes into the drive and which one goes into the PC. These are blue, they are USB 3.0 cables. And here's Sovereign trying to get me to do a review. That's kind of funny. Uh, they did not endorse or pay me for this at all, but I never really noticed that before. So, get rid of that. Then this is, looks like a little quick start manual, which I've honestly never read before, but it does make sense. Uh, I've got your on off switch, the actual USB port, LED indicator, and then this is how you'll basically take it apart. So you push, pull the back side off, and you can put the drive in there. You do have to line up the connections on the inside, but we'll take a look at installing one of the one terabyte drives that I need for the laptop I'm using. So yeah, that is the little instruction manual. Set that off to the side. And this is the actual enclosure that you're getting. There's the LED that we saw in the manual. Here's the USB 3.0 port. And this is the on off switch. Take this out real quick. Get rid of that. I like this one because even though it does have the manufacturer's name on it, which I'm never really a huge fan of, it's very small and the whole of the case is pretty much just flat black. So I really like that. And even this right here, you could peel this sticker off if you wanted. I generally don't go that far. But yeah, I will grab a one terabyte drive and we'll set this guy up. I will grab a one terabyte drive real quick and we'll get that installed in here. So now that I've got my two and a half inch one terabyte drive, we're going to go ahead and install that. So from the instructions, this side, you'd be pulling and this side would be pushing. So this would push off. So I'm just gonna grip that between my hands, pull it that way, and here we go. Here is the top half, and here is the bottom half. And there's this piece of foam in here. This is the inside, so I just have to take note, I'll try to get that a little bit closer to the camera, of where the SATA ports are and the orientation. So we're going to take the hard drive real quick, flip that around, and the connections are going down like that. So now that we have the connectors lined up, you can see how I have the drive in the bay here. So the back end will be all the way down and the front is up over the top a little bit. I'll push it back. I'll make sure everything is lining up nicely there. and. We'll push it in from the bottom. There we go. You can hear that it kind of clicked in up there. Make sure it's all flat down here. Then you'll see there's a little piece of foam to kind of keep the drive from moving in and out. So you should have a pretty good connection. Now, if for whatever reason you want to take your drive out, say it dies, or you want to upgrade your hard drive to a solid state drive, you just put your finger in there, kind of pull the drive up a little bit and then you would basically wiggle the drive out now it is a tight fit you do have to pull a little bit but it's like that by design so you don't lose connection as you transport the drive because this is basically meant to follow you and your laptop around when you're out and about back in there real quick reinstall it one more time it's down in there fully seated and then we'll grab the top part 
make sure we have the LED over here. And you can see on the sides, there are little notches and there are the little feet that go with the top of the case. So you just wanna line that up. So it's in, it'll look like this, and then we have to slide it back towards the side with the connections to lock it in place. You should hear it pretty much click like that and you can tell when it's seated correctly that this is flat, you can't see in. This part over here, there is supposed to be a little bit of an opening, that is normal. And we're flat over here, and looks like everything is good there. And then the other thing to note is that by default, the drive is switched to off. You're gonna probably wanna switch that to on, otherwise you'll forget, plug it in and probably think that the drive is not working. That's it, that's the drive, and here's the cable. So overall, I would say this is a pretty good product. The quality of the drive enclosure itself and the cable for eight bucks on Amazon, in my opinion, is actually pretty high. I would definitely recommend this drive to anyone looking for something inexpensive for a two and a half inch drive. It is USB 3.0, so you're definitely going to want to make sure you connect it to a USB 3.0 port. I have plugged this into USB 2.0 ports, and I have had hard drives power up, so there isn't really an issue there. I would imagine most drives probably would power up without a problem, but if you do find one that doesn't, I would definitely be curious to know. This is a pretty good enclosure and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for something inexpensive and likely with prime shipping. I don't think I have ever bought one of these and not gotten it within a day or two. So overall, definitely a good product and I would definitely recommend it. Check out the description for links to this product on Amazon. If you're interested in tech reviews, tech videos, PC building, server building, and the occasional crypto video, definitely consider getting subscribed to the channel and then hitting that little bell icon to make sure you get the email updates. You can visit us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Sam's Tech Stuff or on Twitter or on the website, which is a work in progress at this point in time, but it is samstechstuff.com.